Stephen, 3-2 tonight against Loch Gaul, who are in the Premiership, of course, but you'll probably feel hard done by by that result tonight. Yep. First half performance was, was as good as we've had. We created loads of chances. Didn't take as many as we should have. We only took one. I counted four. Four really good chances, including the one from, from Callum that's, that's smacked off the post. But we probably could have got a couple of tap-ins at the back post as well. So, all in all, didn't capitalise on the dominance in the first half and, and, and obviously paid the price in the second. As you have said, we probably could have had the game won in the first half, but mm -hmm. football, as we know, is fine margins. And another night, you know, we have a bit of luck and they go in and the game's changed. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to encourage our lads not to, to accept that, that dominance without ruthlessness and make sure that they capitalise when they're on top. And, you know, it's, it's probably just working on the training ground, doing loads of finishing drills and, and, and having the boys repeat, repeat, repeat so that when they go into games, they take those chances. So we are scoring goals this season. But tonight, anybody who was at the game in the first half would have seen us probably 4-1 four, four, at half time. Wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been out of the realms of, of possibility. The positives to take from the game, there were some lovely interchanges of play. 3-1 down, heads could have dropped. But again, our boys do this really well. They, you know, they pick themselves up and they go. And they did throw everything at them, especially in the last 15 minutes. Well, that's what you get with young, young players. Uh, you, get a, you get a real never-say-die die attitude from them. But you also am really pleased at the contribution of the subs coming on. You know, we made those subs. And it would have been easy on this night with leaving people on the bench. And they don't really understand young players. That they could have, they could have maybe sulked or whatever. But every single sub would come on made a made a positive comp contribution to the game. So we have a good group, great young players, and we're just going to continue working as hard as we possibly can. But I'm I'm got it for them because we probably should have been should have been in the in the hat for the next round. She mentioned there, Dyer's coming off the bench. He got the second goal. Harry Wiley got that first one. To sometimes doesn't do them any harm maybe to be on the bench as you've said and they're a bit more determined when they come on and Darius got the goal yeah no he, look we know Darius is a good finisher and, and, and Darius probably sitting there would have probably said two or three of those chances in the first half he would have took them because he's a goal scorer he's got loads of confidence but we've got we've got really good strikers I mean Callum's starting to score goals he's been really unlucky at the back post and he's, he's smacked the post with an unbelievable effort you know Michael's coming on making a really positive contribution and we know Calvin's a, a real a real real asset as well as a coach what do you take from a game like that you know it's League Cup you're playing against the Premiership team so what can you take from that you're aspiring to be them possibly and they've done they're doing really well in the mm -hmm. Premiership now yeah they're doing really well it's probably where we want to be but I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna feel like, you know, pats in the back, we did well, he's we're unlucky and, and all, all that's quite true. But I wanna be in the I wanna be in the hat in the next in the next round. I wanna be I wanna I wanna win in mentality in that changing room and I don't want to be to accept sort of the, the, the plaudits of, of being a good team without getting results. Newington then on Saturday we're back to the championship. Um, as we've talked about, lots to take from this game tonight. So what are you going to take from tonight into that? Because I know you're disappointed with yeah. the result, obviously, and you did want to be in the hat, as you've said. Yeah, yeah. no, I think, I think what we take out of it is we've got a really good group of players. We've got a real solid bunch in there who, who are really disappointed. But they're also really young, and the recovery is going to be really quick with them. So we'll get to, get to work on Thursday night, address some of the things, probably finishing and, 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 and maybe defending crosses and whatever else we need to, we need to do in preparation for Saturday. And, and it's just a process of, of, of work and repeat, and, and hopefully it pays dividends. Stephen, well done. Thank, Thank you. you.